Good morning, everyone. It's Rita here, and I am uh, going to share my Ode to Autumn journal. Um, the kit I used for this journal was by Janie B. Journals, and she's on Etsy, and she's also on YouTube. And she's in my link tree if anyone would be interested in um, looking at her kit. Um, I had something else to say, but I can't remember at the moment. Okay. Um, it will be listed on uh, my Big Cartel um, webpage. So I'll put that link inside uh, the video in the description, and you can go straight there if you're interested in purchasing this. Okay, so this is um, the cover I made with the Amazon packaging with kind of like the bubble in it. Um, and it's not, not super thick, but it does have that. I've got these little dried flowers on the outside. I have chiffon uh, ties that I made with my own uh, fabric, chiffon fabric. And there's still uh, some strings coming, but you know, like Sari Silk, eventually they'll, they'll wear themselves out. And then if you wanna remove it, it's very simple to remove. I'll show you that. Um, it's one signature here. The size of the book is uh, six inches uh, wide and eight and a half inches tall. Okay, uh, so let me open this up. I just put an eyelet here and I just um, put the chiffon through here to hold it, just knotted it. So if you wanna take it out, you just go like that and you know pull it all the way out. A lot of times I take mine out because they're in my way when I'm writing. Okay, so here we have page one, and there are a total of 70 pages, give or take one or two. I'm not I'm not sure I counted it correctly. Um, hopefully you can all see this. Okay, and if I do get a phone call, that's what I was um, gonna say, is that if I get uh, canceled, I'm waiting for a call from one of my maintenance guys. Okay, so this was um, a... Um, embroidery that my mom did and it has this little black crow on it and it's very fallish and then in here I have a journal card back here and then I have this little tab that I put across there like a belly band and this is um, from the kit from Janie B's and it's a double uh, tag and I just place that right in there and these are the little Tim Holtz um, uh, what do you call them uh, brads with the little looks like little screws they're very very small not did not know that when I purchased them okay so um, I have there are several pages that if you wanted to you could actually you know put another pocket or something um, put photographs things like that in there journaling space here this is um, um, straw paper um, just some um, grid paper this is a book page here gardening um, page and then i have this little paper clip here with a um, little um, leaf uh, charm uh, you could use this uh, as a bookmark if you wanted you could move it wherever you want another little journal spot in here we have a pocket and i have a journal card in the side of that and this little uh, thing swings down like that, and this opens up, and then I have a journal card inside that. Very pretty kit. Um, I'm really um, happy with how it turned out. Everything looks so pretty. Uh, this is a pocket that I made with a, looks like an envelope. You fold it all up with um, scrapbook paper, and it makes a little pocket here. And then we have a a journal card in there and then um, there's nothing here but you could put um, like I said a photograph or poem or anything or something that reminds you of fall um, this is document paper or certificate paper that I got at a thrift store and I coffee dyed it and I thought it looked nice in here two more journaling pages here journaling here there's just a doily in here, and you can, you know, journal on that. Um, another uh, page for photographs or notes or things like that. Journaling. 
Here I have an, oops, a journal card here that I um, put in here. This is not in the kit. This is um, from Collage Type, one of her kits. And then up here is a little paper clip pocket that we made. I uh, have a video for that. And it's listed under this journal if you want to go take a look at it. And then inside there is a little journal card in this little pocket that clips. So I thought those were neat. <clears throat> Some lace here on this side. Then on this, uh, this was an envelope that I made with scrap paper, although I covered it all up, but um, this was a piece that came from that same, um, this page piece was half of this page. It was to fold over and make like a little um, file folder. Um, so I put it on here and then a, this has an opening. Then this is just a little paper that I just inked it up and put a little pocket here so you could just journal on that whole page inside. And then in here is a journal card with a little uh, tag that I made to, um, instead of a tab, I just thought this was good to hang out and, you know, or pull it out. And then on this side, we did a photo uh, frame from Tim Holtz frame. And then I put this journal card in there. Uh, the one I originally had, I used it for something else. I always do that. Um, this is a little snug, but it will go in. It's just snug, but I thought that was neat. And this envelope, of course, was made, um, like I said, out of scrap paper. And there's a there's a, a video on that also. Um, this is just a journal page. This is um, rusty water that I sprit, uh, uh, sprinkled all over this page, made it rusty looking. Uh, this is a CD case, um, and then it's got a journal card in there. And it's got journaling space here, journaling space here. And this one is also on one of my videos with um, under O2 Autumn. And this is um, a vintage, uh, no, this is not vintage, it just was in a book and I just made it look old, coffee dyed it and so forth. Um, this is just some, I don't know, tissue or, I, I'm not sure what this is. Maybe it's um, baking pa paper, but it's more like, um, what do you call those bags? Uh, oh, it's like a, a sandwich wrap. <laughs> this is what it is, I don't know. Uh, more gardening um, page here. And you can also, you know, decorate there. You can put um, photos and things. This is the center, and I made two belly bands, and I made two journal cards um, on these that I thought turned out really nice as far as colors and things. Um, yeah, so that was fun. And then, let's see, this is the other side of those. More places for photographs. Uh, this you can open up and write on this whole page, or you can glue the edges and make a pocket in here. Uh, this is a little journal card that I slipped inside here. And this pocket here is held over with a um, paper clip. And um, this is um, a one that we also made, which is just a um, piece like this. It's actually open like this. And just close it up and tie it closed. I love this little pocket, it's so cute. So you can hold several things inside of that. And then, um, how did I do that? Oh, I lied. You could do it this way if you want, but if you want it to hang inside, it needs to be done this way. Oh, that's what I did, this way. Sorry, folded up like a pocket is what I did. There, and then it slips over here 
and it has a clip there, and then the journal card goes there. All right. This one here is a, the envelope that I made, and I put a piece of Velcro um, dot here, and then when you close it, you can put a couple little journal cards tucked down in there. I thought that was kind of fun. Usually I glue this all down, but I, I just thought it was fun to do that. Um, this, I think, was a... Um, no, this was just folded over cardstock. And then I made a little notebook here with some vellum on top and some just made some journal pages with graph papers and a tab. And then we have lace there. More of the um, uh, stained with um, rusty water stain. There's a lot of journaling space, so uh, here is a, another side of that other pocket that I folded up with uh, scrapbook paper, and then I put this little card in here. It's just a little. Um, thank you card or gift card or whatever it came in the mail. That bird just looks so nice in there. Then this pocket here has a journal card in there. We made this with um, just book page. Which Oh, I think this was, oh, this is part of the challenge that I did for Taddy Treasure. Uh, Facebook and friends. Um, gosh, can't remember what the challenge was now. Hmm. I don't remember. But anyway, it turned out cute. And then this little guy here, I got carried away. Um, I did this in the video. And we layered all this up on this little folded page. It's a one-page uh, journal. One-page notebook. that you And it has a little uh, pocket here with the journal card in it. These are so cute and so much fun to make and then uh, here I have a I put a little corner pocket there and put a little tag in that and this has got journaling space this is journaling space then I have a pocket here with the journal card in it and then some more journaling space just a little bit and then um, back here in the top, I put a tag up here. And I don't think I had any other ones to do. And then I put it in this corner pocket. So yeah, that was a fun one to make. And then now it's really thick. That's kind of what <laughs> bulked up the book, but that's okay. I love a lot of stuff. All right, and then this back page here is the other side of the little, um, embroidery that my mom did and here this just sits like this and oh, I'm sorry this goes down inside of here there we go I pulled it out and then I didn't put it back uh, so you can just um, journal on these this parts here okay and then this is the little tag and I thought that was turned out really cute and so and then this is the back so I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this series um, it took me a while but I enjoy uh, doing fall stuff I just love starting fall this is my first fall journal and I'll probably be making more, some more like um, file folder journals in the future because, um, you know, they are, this one I think goes all the, all the time. You could use this, but um, a lot of time the seasons, I try to make something a little smaller so that you have it for that season and it's a little bit more affordable as well. Okay, so this is going to be on my big cartel for sale and it, I have the listing with um, the price for shipping 
uh, for United States. If you're out of the United States, then just contact me and I can uh, go and see what the shipping amount would be. So don't, you know, well, I guess you, I don't know. I don't know how that works because I don't know where there's an option to put in a, another shipping price. And it varies uh, from the UK to uh, Switzerland to Sweden to wherever, you know. So I never know what it's going to be. Um, and or if you don't want to buy it on the big cartel, you can always contact me and we can do it um, through PayPal. All right. So you guys have a great day and I will see you in the next video. Bye.